Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, your day was blessed yesterday. I uh, hope you um, just f- was filled with encouragement and just as the uh, Lord was moving in and through you that you just understood his love and his grace and his mercy. So this morning I'd like to talk to you. I'll be in first, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 3. Um, and I just came across this in my readings this morning and um, I just felt like I needed to share it. And uh, it's uh, we're just going to be in two verses. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 3, um, 17 through 18. And it says this, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We all, with unveiled faces, are looking as in a mirror at the glory of the Lord, and we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory that is from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Um, a couple of things about this is um, uh, when when it says where the where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I don't want us to get this mixed up with the freedom that we think um, we uh, in America. It's it's we're not talking about an American freedom here. Uh, we're not talking about rights. We are talking about the freedom to move in the spirit, the freedom to not live in fear, the the freedom to take thoughts captive, the the freedom to say no to temptation and yes to God. It's the freedom um, to uh, give out of our uh, our small amount and give to somebody else. It's it's giving out of our, um, even out of our poverty. It's the freedom to, to do that because we trust the Lord will provide and that he will uh, do those things. So this is a freedom that is completely different. And I think uh, it's easy for us to get this mixed up. Um, the, it's it's a freedom that makes us good citizens. It's the freedom to say, um, you know what, uh, I'm being persecuted, but I'm going to love and I'm going to bless anyway, and I'm going to just walk this thing out. So that is very important. And I think when we when we mess this up, when we when we begin to put the wrong freedoms in, uh, then all of a sudden. Uh, it's not exactly what the Spirit is talking about. Now listen to what it says after that. So if we have the Spirit, if we're walking in the Spirit, um, and and if if for those of you out there who don't know what I'm talking about, um, when we receive the Lord as our Savior, He has also given us the Holy Spirit. Um, And um, some of us... um, uh, we grow in the spirit. Um, it's the spirit is who God says it's better if I go because I'm going to send the comforter. Um, he's the one that, that teaches and convicts us. Um, and so where the spirit of the Lord is, okay, there is freedom. And then it says, we all with veiled faces are looking as in a mirror at the glory of the Lord. Now, I need to say that because right now with veiled faces, it's referring to what Moses went through uh, when he was up on the Mount of Transfiguration and he came down and he... um he uh, he had a, he had a, the glory of the Lord was on him, and and he had a veil, um, so that people because in the in the uh, in in the old part of the beginning of the Bible it says that you know people can look on the glory of God. Well, where we live today, we can look upon the glory of the Lord. But it's interesting in this. So right now, when we look into what He wants us to see is that when we look into a mirror, we see our reflection. But what we should be seeing is the glory of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord transforming us into his image and not only that but from glory to glory in other words that he continues to pour into us and he gives us more and more understanding of scripture he gives us more and more understanding of of the power of the holy spirit of to be discerning to listen to when to uh to give a word or or to uh pray for someone for healing and and it's from glory to glory and this is a promise um for, for, and then at the end of it, it says, this is from the Lord who is the Spirit. So so the Lord is working in you today, and he is wanting to take you from glory to glory. He is wanting you to experience freedom. Yes, even in a time in which we're living, he wants you to live in freedom in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit with freedom. Again, it's freedom to live without fear. It's freedom to... to um, 
uh, to, to just be spirit filled and, and do what you, God has called you to do. Um, and, and for different people, this means different things. Being spirit filled is different for different people. It's in their understanding. There's not one that's wrong or one that's right. It's just different. So however the Lord has worked on you and how he sees you, um, for some, uh, you know, um, it's speaking in tongues. In other words, it's laying on of hands of healing. Um, for, for some, it's just being able to understand that we walk in the spirit and everything that has been accomplished in the day is for his glory and not ours. So what I'd like you to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is to, to just remember your freedom today. And when you look in the mirror, and matter of fact, do that. This morning after we're done, go look in the mirror and ask God to reveal himself to you that he is working in you and that he is taking you from glory to glory this morning. Jesus, we ask that you would reveal yourself to us in such a way today that we would see your glory, that we would see your face, that we would see not the negatives that the enemy is going to whisper to us, and in the name of Jesus, we bind that, but what we do ask is that you would reveal to us that he, um, that his glory and that his image is being transformed on our faces and that we are loved and cared for by him and we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus name. Amen. Go out with freedom and joy and hope this morning. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.